Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. I am hoping that this is going to be a productive vlog. Today is Saturday, so I have a lot to do over the next two days. I really just have like a list of stuff that I want to get done. So I figured I would take you guys along. I feel like when I vlog, it keeps me motivated because I'm like, gotta do it for the vlog, gotta do it to keep the vlog entertaining and have content. So Definitely vlogging helps me get a lot more done. I have a lot to do with like cleaning, organizing, decluttering. I wanna build a shelf for my closet. I wanna hang up those prints that I got from Etsy on my wall that I showed you guys like two vlogs back. That was a couple weeks ago now. So I hope you guys can hear a difference in the audio quality of this vlog. I did purchase an external microphone for my vlog camera, which I am extremely excited about. I don't think I ever mentioned which vlog camera I ended up getting. It is the Sony ZV-1. F. I did a lot of research. This is the one that I landed on. It was about $500. So definitely an investment, but I've just been loving vlogging. I feel like it has just made me like upload more and stay motivated, like I said. So really, really happy to have this. And I hope the audio now, the microphone that I got is making a difference. So I've really been meaning to clean out my work bag for a while, even though I seriously just got this one like maybe a month ago or two months ago now. I picked up i'll show you guys i don't think i've showed you yet here on my channel so i love beasts or base it's shea mitchell's travel brand i have her weekender tote and i have my eye on a couple of things but i loved oh my god it's so heavy i loved this work bag now it is really huge everyone at work is like what do you have in that ginormous bag but i just like having a lot of things i'm definitely like that person that has like everything in her bag like i like to have my kindle my vlog camera i don't read or vlog at work but if i'm like doing something after work or something like that but this is what the bag looks like it's so big hopefully it's on the frame but this is considered their east to west tote i got it in black and it also comes in tan but it's just so so nice and it's just like the perfect work bag for me this old navy zip up seriously has such a choke hold on me i wear it all of the time i was looking on the old navy app to see if they had other colors and they only had like one size that was too small so i love it i want like a brown or like an olive green or something it is so cozy if you guys can find it definitely grab it i have mine in a large and it's perfect all right so here's what the bag looks like it is so big like i said it holds so much there's a lot of different compartments but Definitely needs to be reorganized. So I'm just going to start with emptying it out. This is the pouch that I keep in my work bag. It's an MZ Wallace pouch. This was actually a gift from my aunt. This is kind of where I keep like emergency items like portable charger, tissues, lens wipes, lactates, like all of those things that you could need but i just feel like this is so unorganized and a lot of this stuff is old so i'm just gonna organize some of this stuff this is my portable charger that i love i will link this down below this charges my phone so many times over you guys like three or four times it is by the brand anchor so i will definitely have that linked so i keep that in its little pouch the charger for it and then also a spare iphone cable to actually charge my phone with in that pouch i have two inhalers i think one of these is expired yeah so this one's expired i'm gonna get rid of this one this one's new so i always keep an inhaler on me i don't have asthma all the time it's pretty much just like exercise induced but i always keep one pretty much in like every single bag just in case because you never know and then of course a mini hairbrush my hair gets tangled like all the time in here i'm also going to keep that spare reusable mask and then also these antibacterial hand wipes I'm gonna keep in here too. And then last thing that I think I'm gonna put in here are my old glasses. They're not old, they're the same prescription. I could wear them now. They're just my older frame. I like to keep these in here just in case one day I'm having like some issues with my contacts or something just to make sure I always have a pair of glasses with me. Now in this little bag, I wanna keep more like makeup items, like beauty care items, I guess you can say. So I'm definitely going to put my touch up powder. I use the Maybelline Matte and Poreless just to touch up and blot whenever i do blot throughout the day i don't blot my makeup often 
And then I've also been loving these little powder puffs. These are so good. Again, we'll link these below from Amazon. I love these for touching up. So I'm gonna put that in here too. These are all of the makeup products that I just pulled out of my work bag. I think the only thing that I'm gonna put in here for now is this Fenty lip gloss. This is something that I just like to have all the time. But I think all this other stuff I'm gonna put back in my makeup collection. And then on the days that I wear it, I'll put it back in here. You guys know the drill, my favorite Vaseline lip therapy. I literally keep one everywhere. I have like a spare Band-Aid that I guess I'll put in here. And then I always have some spare contacts too. These are the Dailies Aqua Comfort Plus. I always like to keep those with me just because sometimes they get dry or they like rip and fall out of my eye. So, so far this is what we have in this bag. And I like this bag definitely better for these little things. And then I'm also gonna throw in my Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush. This is the F35. I like this for touch-ups too, and this fits perfectly. So I'm gonna keep a pen. There's like a cute little pen slot in here. I'm gonna pop a pair of sunglasses in my work bag. These are the Key Coffee Run Sunnies. I have been obsessed with these. I think I talked about them in my last vlog. I'm gonna pop one of those down the side pocket here. I say one of those, like I have more than one. I'm gonna put those in the side pocket here. This is my computer. This is my work notebook. I got it at TJ Maxx. It's so cute. I just usually keep that with my computer here. These are my North Face gloves. I like to use these when I'm driving and it's cold. I honestly usually just put these in one of the water bottle, water, oh my God, I can't speak. <laughs> water bottle holders down the side because I usually only have one cup with me or one water bottle with me at once. Wallet, of course, just gonna like stick down the side here for easy access. I'm gonna put this little makeup bag now that I have my like touch up products and my contacts and stuff in. I love this bag, you guys. I think it was like $8 from Amazon. Like I said, I will link it. I'm gonna put that in that side pocket for easy access. And then I think in the front here on this key loop, actually, I just had an idea. I'm gonna put this hand sanitizer because I'm always looking for hand sanitizer and I can never find it in my bag. So I think if I keep it on the keychain here, I can just always find it in my front pocket. Last but not least in that little side pocket, I'm just gonna put this little webcam that I use for like work meetings and Zoom meetings and stuff. And I think that is everything. Okay, this feels so much more organized. It is heavy. Like there's a lot of stuff in here, but at least the bag has the capacity for it. So there is my reorganized work bag and I'm so happy to finally get this done because it's been something that I've been meaning to do. So yeah, ready to go back to work on Monday. Another project checked off the list. So this is a walking pad slash mini treadmill that we've had for maybe like two years now. I think we purchased it in like 2020 lockdown and we wanted to like try to stay active and stuff like that it's literally been under my mom's bed for a while now haven't used it but i definitely want to try to do a little more exercise at least get more steps in i absolutely hate working out but i feel like having this out in my room will inspire me so i just put it right here under my window it's from amazon i think it was like 250 dollars or something like that this is the brand. I will link it if it is still available, but it's just super simple, easy to use. It has the handlebar with the phone holder. You guys, look what I got. I have been such a shopaholic. It has been so, so bad. I have been loving sneakers though. I've been seeing some new sneakers on TikTok. I love Air Force Ones. I know everyone and their mom wears Air Force Ones, but they are seriously so comfortable. They go with absolutely everything. I love wearing them for work, even under a little bit of like a nice trouser. They're just so like multifunctional and versatile. I recently got two new pairs. I have not worn them yet and I am a size nine if you guys were wondering so these are women's ones that i picked up and then these ones are men's these are the first ones that i got i saw these on tiktok oh my gosh i forgot how pretty these are it took me a while to get them they kept selling out so this color combo is called light driftwood brown and moon fossil it is just such a unique shade it's like a light tan brown the check mark is like a taupe it has some gray these oh my gosh these are just like the prettiest neutral air force ones i just had to get these oh my gosh these are so good these are a men's black and white seven and a half in the air force ones i got these matching with my boyfriend so we both have them but these are so so cute i'm gonna take them both out too 
so you guys can see both but these are like super duper sleek looking here's like a little side angle of what these look like so really really cool i've been seeing a lot of people with the black and white air force ones i feel like i just keep saying air force ones over and over again but super cool so this is actually my fourth pair of air force ones now i have these classic ones in the original white that i haven't opened yet they're both just so nice i'm so excited to wear them i think i'm gonna have my boyfriend spray them this one looks like a little bent right here but i'm gonna have my boyfriend spray them with the waterproofer which works really well but i don't think i'm going to break them out until we have some like really nice weather in the spring we are working on these frames now these are the frames and then the prints from etsy that i think i showed you guys in my vlog like three weeks ago a month ago now so we're just working on getting everything situated and then we're gonna hang them up So the frames are up. I know I didn't show you guys much of the hanging process or really any of it, but it was just lots of like measuring and figuring out and rehanging it and stuff. I have my ring light on just for a little bit of better lighting here, but here are what they look like. I will have everything linked down below. Like I mentioned, I think that these look really, really pretty. I didn't want to do anything too crazy on this wall. On one hand, I'm like, maybe I should have done something a little bit larger here, but also my camera equipment is usually here. And then we have all this stuff. So I definitely didn't want it to be like too busy, but I love these prints from Etsy really really pretty all right and then we finally got around to hanging up this hello gorgeous sign again i think something that i showed like a few vlogs ago maybe last month in january so that was up super easy to apply it's just like double-sided little sticky dots that you put on the back because this is very very lightweight like wood almost so i feel like my vanity is now complete that's like my studio lights and my beauty video camera that just kind of lives there but i kind of like how it fills this space and then my new prints so this is kind of how this area is flowing of course my other lighting but yeah super duper happy with this i will definitely have this link down below i feel like that's all i say in these vlogs i'm like i'll link it down below for you guys <laughs> but i love shopping okay don't judge me can i please just have a large diet coke with light ice okay that's all thank you okay, thanks thank you have a good one just picked up some chinese food for me and my mom so now we are going to head home and if you guys are wondering i kind of had a diet coke addiction i've definitely been a lot better i have not been having it like nearly as much but once in a while like on the weekend i'm like treat myself to a crispy mcdonald's diet coke so cheers i hope you guys are having a great day it definitely was a pretty productive saturday i know i didn't show you guys like absolutely everything but some of the stuff was boring but we got a lot done so i will see you guys at home probably after dinner or so good morning you guys happy sunday it is just after 10 o'clock now i literally just filmed this all already and I filmed my morning skincare and just chatting with you guys and showing you what I was wearing and for some reason sometimes my camera just decides that it wants to film in slow motion. I think I mentioned this in my first vlog a couple of videos back but like I don't know why. I really have to look at the settings a little bit but it was in seriously like two times slow motion and i was talking to you guys about my skincare and my recent products that i'm using so i'm just gonna do a really really quick recap i went in with my favorite double repair face moisturizer from la roche posay i have one with broad spectrum spf 30 and then i also have one without any spf in it today i went for the one without spf now i definitely try to use the one with SPF as often as possible and give me that UV protection when I can. But I find that when I don't follow this up with a makeup routine and really almost like 
set it in place with foundation and base makeup if that's making sense this eventually throughout the day will run in my eyes and my eyes will burn and be really uncomfortable i just wanted to go in with the classic double repair with no spf and this has ceramides and niacinamides as well and then of course lastly just completed the routine with my vaseline advanced lip therapy i also just wanted to show you guys what i'm wearing today just like simple comfy for around the house i think i mentioned in yesterday's intro there is lots to do today again i have something coming in the mail from amazon hopefully it gets here early enough that i want to build for my closet so i'm just wearing that same amazon tank top these are amazing you guys it's the same one from yesterday you can definitely wear these multiple days in a row and they have like still a nice shape and a nice wear to them and yeah i just wore it in the house yesterday so i figured i would rewear it instead of dirtying another piece of clothing and then my leggings are from express these are their super soft leggings which are really soft and cozy i think these are a size large i don't really love these for like every day if you're looking for a legging that's gonna like suck you in give you tummy control these are definitely like very very comfy cozy and they don't like restrict you in any way kind of just like hug your body however your body is is the best way that I can describe it but they are very soft comfy for just like doing things around the house which is what we are going to do today so I desperately need some coffee and some food in me so let's go downstairs and I think I want an iced coffee today sounds really good All right, so I just threw on a little bit of makeup, just something light. I just felt like getting myself a little bit more together today. I feel like there's something about like when you look good, you feel good and you get more kind of done and you're more productive. So I just did a super duper light face. I have on my Fenty Ease Drop Skin Tint from Fenty. I said that already. It has been my favorite thing to wear on my skin. Rare Beauty Concealer, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder. It's been so good, you guys. I love how it makes my skin look. But yeah, just a little light glam. Me and my mom are going to tackle building a new shelf for my closet because I literally have like no closet space left. All of my drawers are overflowing. I feel like I've just been purchasing a lot of clothes, trying to find the best clothes for my body and doing these hauls for you guys. I'm just out of space at this point. So I found a shelf on Amazon. I'll put a picture of it right here. My vision for this is to put like sweaters and pants, those things that are taking up a lot of room in my closet that are making my closet bulky. So this is the brand Farino, I believe. And then this is what it is supposed to look like. Oh my gosh, wait, it says it's a bookshelf, five tier book something. But I saw a lot of photos on the reviews and a lot of people were using it for clothes and stuff in their closets. So I guess we will see. I forgot to tell you guys, I did end up walking on the walking pad last night. I really enjoyed it again. It had been a couple months since I had done it because like I said, it was under the bed, but I did it really late at night. So I didn't end up filming it. It felt really good just to get some steps in. You guys, I have like a lot of trouble like motivating myself to exercise. I don't like exercise. It's been a really long time but I put on Love is Blind after the altar and it actually went by really, really fast. It's like a good mindless show I feel like to watch when you're exercising, at least the after the altar. I feel like it's a little bit dragged out. Like it's not as good as like the actual show when they're talking in the pods, but it made the time go by when I was exercising. So let me know if you guys are watching after the altar and what you think of it, but we're really gonna start building this bookshelf now or not bookshelf closet shelf that can be a bookshelf so let's get to building so there's five shelves 16 poles this is the color of the shelf like a cool tone kind of wood and white poles i think that'll look really nice so 16 poles so the legs have to screw in the bottom of these here but then tighten it to long pole okay so then that screws in and then all the poles screw into each other and then that's it oh God, that's, so easy. that's so easy you guys if you need a shelf get this one so far you guys this seems pretty easy i don't want to jinx anything but it seems like the poles and then you put another shelf. whoa <laughs> and then you put another shelf on like oh god tell me they don't line up 
Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Got it. Honestly, the no tools is my favorite thing. All right, so here is what the finished shelf looks like all built. I feel like that was so easy. Just so you guys can see, it's the five tiers. It's a little bit messy behind because I just had to clean out the corner of my closet where I want to put this, but I really, really like this color of this wood. It's like a light wood, but still a little cool tone with the white spindles. If you guys can hear, this is just like plastic. It's not super high quality, but it was like $50 from Amazon. I just really needed something to kind of help solve my storage problem in my closet. So I'm gonna load this into my closet now and then start putting clothes on it. But I think for 50 bucks, it's pretty nice. Closet is just about done. I am so happy with how it is turning out. I love this shelf and I really recommend it if you guys are in need of some extra closet space. This shelf has seriously been an absolute amazing addition to my closet. All of my drawers were like stuffed to the brim. This had like so many clothes packed so tight. They were getting wrinkled and I couldn't even like really pull anything out. I ended up moving my purses up here. They were originally up here with my shoes like super packed and crowded. And I'm sorry I didn't show you guys the whole entire process. I just kind of wanted to focus on it and not have to worry about the camera. Then the second shelf. So I have most of my jeans. A couple are in the wash or in the hamper folded up here sweatpants and like comfy pants and sweat sets this shelf i put my hoodie so my crew necks these are some nicer sweaters more of which i have in the wash and in my hamper that i'm going to add here and then i feel like these bottom two shelves could always change but i just put like some sandals and shoes that i'm not wearing right now these are my new crocs that I got for Christmas. These are the mushroom ones. How cute are these? I'm saving these for like the nicer weather in the spring. I feel like this was just perfect for what I needed. Definitely freed up a lot of space like to hang stuff in the front of my closet here. My clothes just have so much more breathing room. So yeah, that is that. I think I'm gonna start winding down now, you guys. It is like not even that late. It's like seriously only three o'clock, but I am so tired i seriously feel so exhausted oh it's actually 2 30 oh my gosh i might tackle my bookshelf actually let's just do that i really want to dust my bookshelf reorganize it i have like my sunglasses and stuff on it i want to do like a really big barnes and noble trip soon and kind of get some more physical books and paperback so i just want to make sure that my shelf has enough space just give it a good dusting and you guys will see i have this bin with like all of my book accessories that is just like a mess so i think i have a little more energy left in me it's only 2 30 i could do it let's go ahead and tackle this bookshelf together i'm also working on a thumbnail for my previous vlog which will definitely be up on my channel by the time you guys see this one and i just set it to upload as well so this is probably going to take a couple hours oh an hour not bad so working on that and this will be linked down below if you guys want to check it out if you missed my last vlog. Here is my bookshelf which I'm pretty sure I've showed you guys on my channel before or you often see it like in the background of my videos. So I don't have a ton of physical books. I read a lot on my Kindle so on like the second shelf down I'll show you guys tilt this down a little bit here I have this bin with like sunglasses. It's also dusty. I haven't dusted it in a little while so we're just gonna do all of that. I am also drinking a Pure Leaf Unsweetened Iced Tea. I really, really like these. If you guys like unsweetened iced tea like me, these are really, really good. So I think I'm just gonna start with taking these books off of the shelf. I do like the order that they are in. I have them ordered by author right now. I have this extra book on the top that didn't sit anywhere. So I'm gonna try to keep them in the same order because I do like it. So we have Christina Lauren, Colleen Hoover, and I also dusted the tops of the books while they were on the floor just to make sure I get all of the dust off. More Colleen Hoover. This is my whole Colleen Hoover collection right here. I don't have every single one of her books and I've read some on Kindle as well like Layla and I also have Regretting You lined up on my Kindle, but I haven't read that yet. Elena Armas, which you guys know how I feel about this Spanish love deception. I didn't really like it. I also have the American Roommate Experiment, so I haven't read this one yet, 
because of my kind of not a negative experience but i didn't like love the spanish love deception but hopefully one day i'll get around to reading that one to finish off this shelf of course i have tessa bailey i loved it happened one summer and hook line and sinker you guys those were such really really great books and then i have my killer vacation and window shopping which were still good by tessa bailey not as great as her other bellinger sister series but they were still pretty good i have this basket with my key sunnies and some other extra sunglasses i just have it there for easy reach but i know i'm going to need the space for actual books so ooh, this shelf looks a little bit more dusty and I honestly don't like these two hardcovers on my shelf. I feel like it just throws me off. I want them all to be paperback. Maybe I'll put them in the back like this so you can't really see them. That kind of makes sense. So the books that I have on this shelf down here, I only own one by the author so far. And that is why they are alone. So I think I might reorganize these ones by color, at least so they have some sort of coordination, even though I only have one from each author it's not gonna be perfect obviously oh every summer after was really good i think her second book meet me by the lake comes out this year red white and blue i did not like but you guys know that already if you watch my videos should i put book lovers on the inside here or on the end but it also kind of has the orange in it like every summer after oh yeah I think I like that. And my most recent read, which I now have room for up here, is Sharp Objects by Jillian Flynn. I think I decided that I'm just going to leave my sunglasses up here only because this book is going to keep falling if this space is not completely filled. So I think once I purchase more books, I will just kind of worry about it then. This has pretty much all of my reading accessories. This is like my Kindle arm. I feel like I need to find a new place for this i have cords oh this is an apple watch case that should probably go somewhere else look at this like what is this <laughs> oh my gosh i've been looking for this wow okay that's why you clean things out you guys because things get so lost okay so now that i'm looking in here it's kind of like a mix of reading things some non-reading things so this little sleeve i have all of my bookmarks so i'm just going to reorganize this one back in here these are some reading journal materials i got these gorgeous pastel highlighters off of amazon all of these things i will link down below if i could find them and then i got this pack of colorful gel pens because i like to do my reading journal in all different colors so i just like to keep all of these things together i'll probably end up popping my journal in here too i have my book light i also usually keep the one that goes around my neck in here but that was downstairs right now some more notebooks this is so cute i found this at barnes and noble one day and i was like how can i not how can i not get this i haven't used it yet i was originally going to use this as a reading journal but then nick gave me this one for christmas which is obviously more designed as a reading journal with all the prompts and stuff like that i have been loving filling this out and then some cords this is my kindle charger this is the charger for my book lamp and then this is the charger for my kindle remote and my little kindle clicker that i keep in my nightstand this is my book sleeve for when i take books or my kindle and stuff on the go so that's everything that's in there i'm gonna go ahead and refill this oh and then this right here i forgot to mention this is a book embosser i got this for christmas so i can stamp my books and it says from the library of jackie All right, so this looks a much better i think that's all that i'm gonna keep in here maybe i don't really like how this looks in here i just don't know where else to store this so i think i'm just going to leave it like this for now it looks nice and organized i'll also put my laptop in there in the back when i'm not using it so 
I think that's much better. Ignore this kind of weird lighting. I'm a little backlit right now, but I just got in the replacement Old Navy pants from my Amazon and Old Navy haul that recently went up on my channel. If you guys watched that video, I had to exchange two pairs of pants for different sizes and they just came in the mail. So I'm gonna show that to you guys now. I have on the jeans now in a 16, which is a size up from what I normally wear and they fit so good. So let me show you. Sorry for the mess behind me, you guys. It's just like some clothes and stuff I'm putting away. But here are what the balloon jeans look like. I really, really like how these look. So again, these are the 16. If you guys saw in that video, the 14s would not even button. So I did size up to the 16 and I really, really like how they look. I like this more like baggy fit through the leg I mentioned in that video. I would say one little thing is if you guys can see, they are a teeny tiny bit loose on the waist in the back here, but kind of like a give and take for me. It's not that big of a deal. And I really like how they fit everywhere else. Again, I love that baggy look. I am kind of curious to see if they get like way too baggy and big throughout the day. I want to see how much that they stretch out, but so far, I really, really like how these fit. And then these are the second pair of pants. These are the brown playa pants that I had originally gotten in a large. They were a little tight around my tummy, so I exchanged for an extra large. But I think that these are a little too big. They don't stay like all the way where I want them to stay. So cute and flowy and so comfortable. I've really been like looking for more pants like this, but I think they're just a little bit too like big they look fine in the back right like they're just a little bit too big like the crotch area hangs a little bit low so unfortunately i don't think i'm gonna keep these i think in these types of pants i'm in between probably a large and an extra large we tried you guys for those but i don't think they're going to work out but really really happy with those jeans and if you guys haven't seen that full try on video definitely go watch it it's worth the watch we had a lot of good things i think i'm going to wrap up this vlog here i definitely got a lot done and i am kind of crashing now i definitely just want to relax and make some time to read or watch something and just kind of take care of myself in that way before a new work week starts it's definitely nice on the weekends to like get so much stuff done but don't forget to relax and take care of yourself whenever you guys are watching this, whenever you can, like on the weekend. Um, I definitely want to get more reading done because I didn't get much done. But overall, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this productive vlog. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. And I will definitely see you in my next one. Bye.